In this lesson, we'll learn how to sort and filter data. And the difference between sorting and filtering is a sort rearranges the data in your worksheet, and a filter will narrow down the data in the worksheet, allowing you to view only the information you need to see at a particular time. So in order to illustrate this, I'm gonna show you, we have on the screen here, we've got a, a sample database. And the definition of a database is just a organized list of information. At the top of your list, you have headers. These are also called fields or field names. And along here, the rows are, each individual row is a separate record. So you have columns and rows, which are also known as fields and records and it's organized in a rectangular shape. So it's a continuous list. There are no breaks in, no empty columns and no empty rows. And so currently this database is sorted by order ID number. And we can see that easily here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. But what if we wanted to sort and see the highest amounts at the top of the screen? In order to do that, we're going to perform a sort. A couple of different ways that we, we can do a sort, and the selection is very important. We wanna make sure that we have the right thing selected. If we have our selection out here in no man's land, and we try to do a sort, for example here, sort and filter, A to Z, Excel isn't clear on what you wanna sort because your selection is out here where there, there's no information. So you're gonna get a message, this can't be applied to the selected range. We're gonna click OK. And this time, when you're making a selection, when you're sorting, you wanna make sure that you're either, you either have just one single cell selected or your entire database selected. We can't just select a column. If we were to select just a column of information and try to sort it, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show this to you. Go ahead and click and select a column sort and filter, and let's say we wanna sort the largest to the smallest. Okay, Excel is a little confused. Excel wants to know, do we wanna expand the selection because there are other things that are touching that might be related to this amount, or do we want to just sort within the selection that we made? Okay, so we wanna be very careful what selection we make when we're sorting. My preference is to just single click and select a single cell. And what happens is Excel will automatically assume that everything that touches that cell is associated with that cell and it will sort everything around it. So let's go here to sort and filter, choose sort largest to smallest. And we can see that now we have the largest amount at the top of our database. And if we were to scroll all the way down, we would see that the smallest amount is at the bottom. 107. We can also see that the order ID is changed. And that is that is the easiest way to tell that all of the records sorted along with the amounts. Okay, so when we're sorting by values, we're going to get the largest to smallest or smallest to largest. If we're sorting text information, what we see in the drop down is sort A to Z or sort Z to A. So let's sort A to Z by product name. Okay, now we have apples at the top and as we scroll down we see bananas, beans, broccoli, and so on. Okay, that's great. We know how to sort by a single column. Let's say for example we want to sort by product name first and then by the country column. Okay, this is a multiple sort and it's going to require a little bit of a different operation than our single click and our quick sort and filter here. So in this case, make sure that your cursor is anywhere within your database and choose custom sort. Okay, Excel is automatically gonna assume based on your selection of that single cell that you're utilizing this entire database and everything that touches it. So we can choose, also this is very important here, this my data has headers. Make sure that that's checked on if you do have headers at the top of your screen. If that's not checked, 
then this first row is going to be included within your sort. So let's make sure that's checked on so that does not get included in our sort. And we can choose sort by product. And this is going to have a list of all of the header names or all of the field names. Go ahead and click product. We're going to sort by values, A to Z, and that's fine. And we want to add a level now. So we're going to sort by product first and then by country. So choose country from the drop down, also by values, A to Z. Go ahead and click OK. And now you see our view has changed. We still have apples as the first sort order in our columns. And then now the country starts with Australia, Canada, France, within the apple grouping. And as you scroll down, you can see once it changes to bananas, now it starts over in the country with Australia, Canada, and so on. So sort is a very powerful way to rearrange your data in the worksheet so that you can see and group things together quickly and easily. We'll continue this topic in the next lesson.